Good morning, morning guys. We're back at it again with another video. We've got the most crazy Instagram handle right here. What is it? Jeebus Cristo Abracadabra. Abracadabra Jeebus Cristo <laughs> has graced us with his presence today. So just explain a little bit uh, about what you do. Well, I'm a master handyman, welder fabricator, natural builder. Um, I do everything. Aquaponics. We have an urban farm coming up in Tucson called Aqua Gringo Urban Farm. Pretty much anything you need done at your house or your homestead or anywhere, I'm the man to call. I've been building since straight out of high school in 99. Uh, became lead installer of a large window crew, one of the best in Tucson. And uh, just learned all the building aspects and started building everything. I do art, sculptures. Anything, yeah, you do you some. He does some really interesting stuff, like with metal for gates and for kind of separation areas and stuff. And yeah, I do perimeter really nice. fencing and uh, just about anything. Permaculture. You just ask, and I'm pretty sure I can take care of it. Awesome. He's a handy man, right? <laughs> yeah, he's the handy he's, man, and he's really handy. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to be working on today is uh, kind of filling up these pergola spaces here. So we've got some inch and a half by inch and a half steel, some nice perforated steel and some welded wire steel to fill up the space, kind of give a bit of a separation, make it look nice and decorative. And then maybe I'll have him teach me how to do the, uh, do the rest. Oh, you're doing the, some do, welding. Do, oh, doing some welding. <laughs> Let's begin. So how were my measurements? Your measurements spot on, sir. What? Not many can do that. Damn, you bro. You got the Jeebus approval. Jeebus approval. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 52 and a half. What's up with the knife? That makes for an exact mark. If you use a marker, you can be off by a quarter inch. Welding's kind of cool because you can fill in the material. If you do it with wood and you have to stain wood, there is no filling in stained wood very well. You will not look like a carpenter. So welding's a bit more forgiving. Um, you could do some larger gaps, you know, structurally you don't want to do I-beams with gigantic gaps, but you can fill in, you know, like half of an inch at times if you're just doing regular material, thinner material, thinner gauge material. Cool. Um, like if you're doing wire mesh, you can actually create wire. Uh, you'll see on these grids, sometimes you'll be off by a quarter inch or something's out of level. So you're actually able to make it into the same exact gauge by just continually welding to it and letting off of the trigger. So you're, you're making like an icicle of metal. That's just aesthetics, pure aesthetics. You know, you don't want to mm. do that for some giant beam that you're laying up at all, but otherwise you can, you can fill it in. It's like a 3D printer, pretty cool. Man down. Man down for sure. Well, that's going to make the YouTube real. <laughs> That works a lot better. You got it, man. You got it. I made this little hammer in machine shop in high school. And my welding teacher gave me first place for this, and I thought it was pretty cool. And then I asked my friends, hey, what place did you get? And they also got first place. So they <laughs> all got participation awards for doing these things. The funny thing is that my welding teacher was responsible for getting me into the construction industry, and I meant to become a biologist and go to college, yet I got paid so well doing construction that I stayed with it. But I still use my machine shop hammer. Nice. to this day for multiple uses on the job and I have not lost it yet which is amazing. Woo! There we go. You can't just start welding an entire portion of metal because you'll get distortion and it'll move this whole one up an inch. So you have to tack them in multiple places on yeah. all sides and then come back and do your full weld.
yeah. Okay, so you'll be able to see with the helmet down itself because it's self-dimming. Mm. Um, and what you want to do is you want to do little circle motions. There's a few different ways of achieving different kinds of beads. Um, this is the, one of the most simplistic ones. There's U-shape, like a horseshoe going back and forth like this, and that'll create a puddle. And you just want to keep that puddle the same exact size. It's called throwing dimes. So what you're going to do is you're going to do circle ones. You're going to just do, you're going to steady your hand against something, and you're just going to do like this and you're going down while making a circle so it's keeping okay. that bead and you'll see the consistency that you want you want to move pretty quickly but not too quickly so like this speed so again yeah. you go like that and you're going from this metal to that metal to heat them both up and to bond them together just like that so little circles cool How's that? Not too bad. Do the top now. <laughs> You're the man. That's why they call me the handyman. Ah, f it. <laughs> I'll take it. This one's not as nice. Nope. <laughs> Don't worry, we have a grinder. <laughs> oh, that was ugly. That was ugly. This is what we call bird poop. That's called bird poop. Okay. <laughs> and you're, you were, because your distance was too far away, and so you're just not really heating the metal, you're just welding that, uh, that okay. metal wire up gotcha. against it, so. That one's not too bad, but these are good. You did a good job on those and they're going to be hot for a while. So don't okay. touch them. Okay. Um, we'll just take a, a flap grinder to it and uh, redo it a little bit. Okay. It's not, not a big problem. Don't really strengthen up yeah. this post. Eh? <laughs> Shears it up. <laughs> Check it out guys, see how nice this turned out. I really like the difference between the perforated steel and the welded wire steel. Instead of it all being welded wire, all perforated, kind of breaks it up, gives it a little bit more of a decorative effect. Thank you so much, Jake, for coming out and helping out. Can't wait to start tackling some of these welding projects myself, but I got, um, I learned a lot just from watching him and from doing a little bit of it myself. So future projects, once I have the shop up, have my own welder, 
and I'll be able to tackle these myself. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Definitely follow me on Instagram at handyman underscore because I couldn't get at handyman. Post a lot of stories and extra photos and videos that you don't see here on YouTube. So if you wanna get the first kind of like initial scoop, the behind the scenes scoop of a lot of these projects that I'm doing, then definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description box and also in the comments section below. Awesome guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you soon, peace.